we're going to cover the metric scale. So what is the metric system? It was a system of measurement adopted around the world, except in the U.S. The base unit is the meter, and one centimeter is a hundredth of a meter, so you need a hundred centimeters to equal a meter, or a thousand millimeters. So you got to be careful if your drawings have been reduced that you check the scale, and I'll show you how to do that. Typical scales are 1 in 50, 1 in 100. 1 in 50 means that for every one centimeter on the drawing, it's equivalent to a half a meter in reality or in your building or whatever. So if you measure one centimeter of a duck, that means you have a half a meter in length or width of your duck. So how do you read a metric scale? So the first thing is length. Whatever you measure on the drawing, in this case, let's say it's one centimeter. So if you're using your scale is one in 50, you can see the on the scale there, the yellow going across is the one in 50, meaning every one centimeter, the left number of the ratio is the number that you're measuring on the drawing. So the number on the right is that of the item that you're going to build, of the actual item, whether it's the building, the duck, or whatever. The left number is what you measure on the drawing. The right number is what is used to build the item that you're going to build. So one centimeter on your drawing is equal to 50 centimeters of the real item. And so that's equivalent to a half a meter. Uh, if your scale is 1 in 100, then that's an easy one. For every 1 centimeter on your drawing, it's equal to 1 meter. Because 100 centimeters is a meter. So if your scale is 1 in 500, every 1 centimeter on your drawing, left number, is equivalent to 500 centimeters of your building, or whatever your component of your building is which is five meters. There's a hundred, each of the 500 is broken down into 100 centimeters, each one equivalent to a meter. So now if you have two centimeters, you can see on the top scale there, one in 50, two, you need two centimeters to equal a meter on a one in 50 scale. That's because 50 centimeters is only half of a meter. So you need two of them to equal a meter. So two times 50 is 100. Two units of measure on the drawing, each worth 50 centimeters of the real item, the real building component, is 100 centimeters, or a meter. So on a 1 in 50 scale, you need two centimeters to equal a meter. So on this one, two centimeters would be two meters. And one in 500, two centimeters on your drawing is equivalent to a thousand centimeters or 10 meters. So you can see that on the bottom of the scale there, the pink, one in 500, the two centimeters shown by the two brackets there, that equals 10 meters. Now, if you were on one in 50, that would be the one above in the yellow, that's only one meter. So the pink along the bottom is the one in 500. So you can see for every one of the 50 ratio, the one in 50, you get 10 of the one in 500 because 10 times 50 is 500. So the, those two scales are related by 10. So you can see the next number is two for the one in 50 and then 20. So ten, two times 10 is 20. 3 times 10 is 30, 4 times 10 is 40, 5 times 10 is 50. So this scale, 1 in 50, is a tenth of the 1 in 500. So 10 millimeters is 1 centimeter. So 100 centimeters is 1 meter or 1,000 millimeters. So 1, 2, these are all millimeters, these little marks are millimeters. So it's going to take, on a 1 in 50 scale, it's going to take 10 of these 
to equal one centimeter. So you need 10 millimeters, and those are the small dashes on there, to equal one centimeter. And that gets you halfway, so one centimeter is the first number on the left is what you measure on the drawing and that's equivalent to 50 centimeters or a half a meter which we covered and there you go and no one in 50 scale to have one meter you need a hundred centimeters and so that's going to take you a measurement of two centimeters on your drawing one there one there so when you measure two centimeters on your drawing on a one in 50 scale, that gives you 100 centimeters as equivalent to a meter. And one in 500, that's 10 meters equals 1,000 centimeters. So that 500 goes into 1,000 two times. So you need to measure two centimeters on a drawing in order to be equivalent to the 10 meters. Right, one centimeter on the drawing, there's another centimeter, two centimeters, two times the 500 gives you the thousand. A thousand centimeters is equal to 10 meters. So when you measure one centimeter right here, that gives you 500 centimeters on the building, and another 500 that gives you a thousand centimeters. So that will require you to measure two centimeters on the drawing. Sounds a little confusing, but we'll get cleared up here in a little bit. Let's see. So now, comparing the scale side by side, you can see one centimeter using the different scales, what you're going to get in the real item. So as you can see, the first number, they're all the same. They all have the same first number. So they're all using the same unit of measurement on the drawing. This number determines what you're going to build the building out of. This is the real number that goes to buying your materials. Uh, the dark blue here. So in this scale, you get less material. This, for every centimeter, it's equivalent to a lot more material. So you wouldn't want to mess up on a scale like this because there's more material for every one centimeter on the drawing. Every one centimeter on 1 in 50 is only equal to a half a meter. 1 in 100, of course, 100 centimeters is a meter. So this is your baseline, 1 meter. If you have a scale 1 in 500, that means every 1 centimeter is going to be 5 meters. So very good. Left is what you measure on the drawing. Right is what you're going to purchase your material lengths in. So how to determine if you got a missing scale? It's easy. Just pick something that you know the dimension of. Whether it's a doorway, uh, you can see in here, this drawing is all done in millimeters. So that's 3,563 millimeters. And we know it takes a thousand millimeters to equal a meter. So if we divide this by a thousand, we would get 3.563 meters. So that's three and a half meters. This is 2.4 meters. 1.8 meters on the pantry by 2.0 meters. So to measure the doorway, just bring your scale up, check your different scales. You can see this is about a, you know, a 900 and something millimeter uh, or one meter door. That's about right. In the US, it's 36 inches. This is about equivalent. So you know that you got the right scale by measuring the door. So you pick an object that has a dimension shown. In this case, we find a pantry with a 20 by 10 millimeter. And we measure it and we can see that it's two meters or 2,000 millimeters. So we know that we, it's one in 50 scale because it matches right up here. This is two meters or 2,000 millimeters. So if you have a duck, 
You can pick an object that has a dimension, in this case, 100 centimeters. So you got to be careful because the duck could be shown in millimeters. In this case, this duck is in centimeters. And so if it was in millimeters, this would be a thousand. Yeah, so you try different scales until you find one that match. So the scale is determined to be one in 50, which is the top scale here. This measures one meter. 100 centimeters is one meter. So this is 100 centimeters. Thank you for watching our video. I hope uh, you have a better understanding of the metric system. And please subscribe and look forward to seeing you in another video.